Uh, I've been thinking about this, and I think that we should take the word ghetto out of the popular vernacular, right? And I feel like people don't know how to use the word ghetto in context. I was at a dinner party, and at the end of the night, my friend Becky was like, I'm gonna roll ghetto style. I was like, oh shit, what's she gonna do? <laughs> Pull out a pack of Newports or a gun? I don't know. <laughs> she pulls out a Tupperware container and fills it with carrots and crudite. That's not ghetto. <laughs> ghetto would be if she named her child crudite, right? I'd like to be known as funny. I'd like to be known as like funny and um, I've kind of like push, push the boundary or push people to their edge, but in a really kind of like nice way, like with a little lube. That's, that's how, that's comedy with a lube. But the thing is that my mother was just so worried about me. She sat me down one day. She's like, listen, Glow, you're already black. You're already a woman. And now with you being gay, your life is going to be so much harder, honey. It's going to be so much harder. You're going to be harassed all the time, just harassed all the time. And she was right, so I had to tell her to stop calling me. I grew up my whole life thinking that white people can't dance, and so when I see white people that are really, really good, I get very excited. I run up to them and I'm like, ooh, look at you! Hey, you're such a good dancer! How ignorant is that? That would be like a white person rolling up to me while I'm reading a book on the subway like, woo, look at her, she read the book! <laughs> look at her, she's such a good reader! <laughs> what is that, green eggs and ham?